As much as I can't stand our Attorney General Jefferson Beauregard Sessions, he is kind of starting to see the light on weed. Yesterday he admitted, quote, there may well be some medical benefits from medicinal marijuana, but he still doesn't think it will help the opioid epidemic. Is he willfully blind? Joining me now from Fox News Medical A team, Dr. Mark Siegel, also a professor at NYU Langone. Uh, nice to see you. Great to see you, Kennedy. So let's talk about this a little bit because now there has been critical mass reached in a new Quinnipiac poll, the highest number of respondents ever, 63% say they approve of marijuana uh, being legal in various states, 93% approve of legal medical cannabis. And there are two other studies that you and I have talked about that show uh, opioid overdose deaths uh, decrease in states where there is medical cannabis, and also that there are far fewer prescriptions written for opioids where there are the most permissive medical marijuana laws. And the attorney general is dubious on that, but the studies over and over have shown that. In the 29 states which have medical marijuana laws, you've seen a decrease of over 25 percent in opioid-related overdose deaths. That's huge. Yes. And in Medicare and Medicaid data, over the last, over a decade, it's shown decreases of prescriptions among Medicaid users of about 6 percent, Medicare of about 9 percent. So clearly, medical marijuana decreases on op opioid prescriptions. Why wouldn't it? It's been shown to decrease of pain. It's clear that's where he's starting to start, suddenly starting to see the light. He sees what we've known for a while now, which is medical marijuana decreases pain. And, and we have to make the distinction between medical marijuana and recreational. Now, whatever someone puts in their body, I don't care. If they don't hurt me and they don't take my stuff, I really don't care. I think the war on drugs has failed. I think it's deadly and costly and stupid. And this supply-side combat has done nothing to help inner cities and rural communities that are being decimated by opioid addiction. Not only that, I'm going to get a little controversial here and tell you that Attorney General Sessions is wrong about something else, What's which that? is prosecuting people yes. for opioids has not led to a decrease in the epidemic either. Because yeah. you know what people do when they're in jail? They buy and sell opioids. Yeah. So our prisons are not geared up for rehab. So the bill that's out there now, the Opioid Crisis Response Act. Yeah, and, and that's the one that passed the Senate Health Committee today. Right, and the House is looking at their version. It's not passed the whole Senate yet. Yeah. It actually is doing some things I like. It needs more money. It definitely yeah. needs more money. But what it is doing that I like is it has the NIH researching yeah. alternatives. It has doctors being able to look into histories of okay. people that have opioids. And most importantly, medically assisted therapy with Suboxone and other drugs to get yeah, people and, and, off. And that's what they, they have to do is, is look at less addictive uh, resources. Thank you so much, Dr. Siegel. Agree, agree on medical marijuana. We agree on legalization. Okay.